Well, welcome back to Real Time with Ryan. Again, I'd like to thank Casey Hayward for, for stopping by, um, talking about Plan F, which you can pick up on Amazon.com, all one word. Uh, Amazon.com, Plan F, really good stuff. I, I got a chance to look at it, and, and it's, it's pretty cool. So now, Athens, College Town, we, film this sh we shoot the show in Athens, Ohio. Not a whole lot of things going on. But recently, Mark Pender of the Max Weinberg 7 from Conan O'Brien, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, stopped by for a weekend. Um, Played the trumpet, bass guitar, some other instruments uh, at the Athens Winter Jazz and Blues Festival. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. We man we actually managed to catch up with him in his hotel room the next day. Uh, let's take a look at it. Welcome to uh, Real Time with Ryan. I'm here with Mark, the Love Man Pender, um, <laughs> trumpet player extraordinaire, and also does some does a lot of other things. Uh, you might recognize him from. Um, Max Weinberg 7 on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, yeah. and he's here in Athens for the Jazz and Blues Festival, is that, is that right? The Athens Winter Jazz Blues Festival, yeah. Okay, okay. The very first. The very first, the inaugural. It sounds it's something to be, be proud of, right? Yeah, I think so, you know. I, I'm amazed when the uh, talent, the size of Athens, comes up with this kind of idea, and they mm -hmm. go, yeah, we're going to have a, a festival when it's cold as hell, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's... Athens in, in February, it's, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. No, no, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. yeah. And I, I saw some of, the, some of the video from last night. It looked like you were, uh, you were heating things up. Heating things up. were, things were getting heated up. It was yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. It was a good time. Pretty good night for the, the I think the, was, the, was it the first night or the second night of the... I think it was the second night. I, I got delayed coming out of uh, New York and I was supposed to be here playing Friday and I had like a four hour right. delay. So I, I waited out my uh, participation at LaGuardia. <laughs> <laughs> you could have entertained, you could have entertained there. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty entertaining. You know, you just stand up and look, you know, delay, delay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could you could have you could have busted out the trumpet and, and probably made it made it fun for everybody else. Yeah, it would have been creepy, right? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. It might yeah. Have been. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I was looking at the video last night. Looks like you guys were having a lot of fun. Yeah, that was really cool. You know, this guy uh, from from the band Mike Dowdy from the R and B station. I think they have that's a band that's here in Athens. I did a festival with him a couple of years ago in Iowa. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing. And they had a music clinic with, with high school and uh, middle school students, and, uh, and then pub crawls, jam sessions, and a main concert. And so they kind of did the, did the same thing here. So, uh, you know, he got the idea, and he kept whittling away at the Chamber of Commerce. And, you know, what a nice group of people here, you know. Uh, yeah. they, they've just been so sweet and so accommodating. They've made it really easy for me here. Well, and you, you get a lot of face, I mean, you get a fair amount of face time on, on Conan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, crazy, they right? Yeah, I've been in a few things, you know. Lately, I think the thing I did the other night was I make the horsey sound after Conan spins the ring. Yeah, when he fails. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, completely inappropriate. <laughs> Makes no sense. He appreciate. I'm sure he appreciates it. Yeah, he asked for it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know, so when he... It's all... TV is a lie. Well, no, not really. But uh, but he had asked for it. You know, why don't you make, you know, like a funny funny sound? And then I did the horse and he, Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. And then, of course, when the show comes up, he acts like, What the hell are you yeah. doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but you know, back, back to you. you. You touched on it. You've played with a lot of bands, a lot of different... Performers. I mean, can you just run down the list and you know, right off the top of your head who, who you've played with? I know you, you know Bowie, Springsteen. Yeah, time. you know I was I was lucky enough to do a record with uh, David Bowie in the the mid '80s, and uh, tonight was the the uh, was the name of the record, and it had it had one hit in it. Then I played with the uh, band Power Station, Some Like It Hot. You remember oh, that yeah. song? Yeah, yeah. That was a that was a pretty big song, and Joe Cocker. Uh, you know, did, did a record for him. You know, and then I got to tour with Diana Ross and uh, and, and Springsteen a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I you know, I just kind of stuck around. You know, in between all that, though, is like a lot of really crappy years too. Yeah. You know, you know. I mean, the funny thing is, like the year that I did this David Bowie record, uh, the three months preceding it, I I had to take a job at the file department at Mercedes Benz. Yeah. In Mawa, New Jersey. 
How was that? It was rough. To get you... And I was a real 80s casualty then. You know, I used to have a lot of hair, you know. Okay. And, you know, I dyed it some color or another. And then I shaved it across here and down. It was a good look. It was a good look, you know, and a few earrings and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. and so I'd show up in this office type environment and they'd send me down to the basement into the file room. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they had like, you know, thousands and thousands of files down there and I'd put them inside these, uh, like those things that you have at the bank, the vacuum type the things. The pneumatic you, tubes? Yeah, yeah. 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 Send them through the tubes, that, that and then they talk. Yeah, it was a riot. <laughs> it was a riot. Then they talked to me like I was an idiot all day. No. It was really satisfying. It was, uh, you know. So then, you know, I, I one day I show up to work and I'd gotten a call to do David Bowie's record. Was that a tough decision to to leave the? Tubes? <laughs> <laughs> so I told him. I said, "Look, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm quitting." Yeah. I go, well, why are you quitting? You know, we could still use you. You're working out pretty well here. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to do David Bowie's record now. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> they never <laughs> believed it. They just thought I was a flake and that I was just, just wanted to quit. <laughs> Speaking of trauma, I was looking at the video last night. You played a little bit of bass. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Guitar. You have that, huh? Yeah. We, Ouch. We, we, okay. we do have that. Do you play you know, a lot of other instruments, or are you versed? In I, I can play guitar better than bass. Okay. But the bass player didn't know the song, mm -hmm. and I thought it was time they slowed it down a little bit, because they'd done like, the same kind of bass songs a lot of them in a row. Mm -hmm. And uh, it worked out good, except that I had trouble singing and playing the bass at the same time. You know, I've been feeling a lot of love up here tonight. And he had a five-string bass, and I and at home I have a four-string bass. Okay. So I kept on that fifth string was confusing the hell out of me. Yeah, you don't know what to do with it. No, it's useless. I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to touch it. I, I didn't even know what note it was. You know, yeah. it was just like hope it didn't. I didn't accidentally hit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever see uh, you know high school kids or the kids with the trumpet and, and or, you know with an instrument and want to tell them either shake them or tell them something or stop? <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, and, and it's kind of strange because I went I went home to see my mom, and you know it was like one October, and I hear I hear you know the football field was about you know almost a half a mile from our house, and I could hear them out on the football field, and I said, wow, that's really great, you know, mm -hmm. they're out there, and my mom tells me, uh, you really hated it while you were doing. What are you talking about? <laughs> but but now the funny thing is, I guess a lot of uh, it happens a lot in life. At least for me, it has. You while you're doing stuff, you don't appreciate how cool it is or how great mm -hmm. it is. And we had a really great music program in our school, and and actually the music program got got even better. It's like this little town south of Kansas City, Grandview, Missouri, mm -hmm. and they you know have like one of the top jazz uh, bands in the in the country, high school jazz bands now. But oh. you know you don't always I didn't always appreciate everything while it was happening. I just kept on like trying to push forward, mm -hmm. thinking there was something better out there. And uh, you know I'm not yeah. sure there's much better than Conan. That's 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 true. That's a good point. That's a good point. So you, I mean, you look back at what you've done, you know, so far, and it, it looks looks pretty good on a resume, I guess. Yeah, it's starting to look good, right? Yeah. You know, if you don't die or something like that, you know, you get you can you can put a, up a good list, you know. Yeah. I really appreciate you, you taking the time to talk to us and uh, you coming to Athens, coming to our little town, and, and playing for us. Well, thanks for you know taking the time out of your day to come out here and chat with me too. It's cool. Absolutely, really appreciate it. Mark the Love Man Pender. Um, that that's. And you'll be playing, what, what's next for you this, this upcoming? Uh, we're doing a concert this afternoon. All right. And, uh, and then I'm going to fly back and do Conan tomorrow. Wow. It's the life of a trumpet player. Long weekend. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. You can catch that. You can catch the entire interview in its entirety on avwproductions.com. I'd like to thank Casey Hayward and uh, Mark Pender for, for spending some time on our show. And my, my lovely studio audience, thanks for watching. Yeah.